hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see by the title today we are doing a wig transformation on a ten dollar amazon wig so included with the wig was a stocking cap and a um, bow which is really pretty and then of course it comes with uh, your unit i purposely found the cheapest one that i can find just because i've never um, added roots to um, well really any synthetic wig or it was something that I wasn't going too much money on so this one was $9.99 I will post a link I'm not sure if it's still $9.99 now but when I bought it a few weeks ago that's how much it cost so of course with it being that cheap I didn't have high hopes for the quality or anything like that and obviously I knew I was going to have to do something about the tone of the wig as well as the middle part Okay, so for this next part, I'm going to explain how I deconstructed this part of the wig. Um, I actually had recorded footage of me doing it, but somehow that got deleted. In my case, what I used was some eyebrow tweezers to rip the seams here. Other options would be to use some little embroidery scissors like these. Or actually what I feel would be best and easiest is to use a seam ripper like this because with the seam ripper if you see the end that little sharp end you can kind of put that through where these seams are and pop the seams right there without having to go under the wig or really you could use the seam ripper to do it under the wig and pop the seams um, you see this little strip along here that's what we're breaking up is these seams here that go along here so like I said the seam ripper would be easiest because you can go just over the top and go through under kind of where these seams are and break them up that way or you can lift the little edge here where you can expose you know the seam between the two pieces and break the the seams that way um so then i'm going to go ahead and take my um trimmer again and just try to clean up the hairline um, to kind of make it more realistic you see me cutting it with scissors and then I do a little indentation kind of where the actual part is I did end up grabbing my flat iron to try to flatten out the uh, part and the front part of the wig itself you will want to pay attention to whether or not the unit you purchase is heat resistant or not Rashida rocks the bob hairstyle a lot so she was my inspiration for this look ultimately decided to go with a blonde look since I've never rocked this type of blonde before I wanted to see if it would even work for me if you want a unit that looks like Rashida's that's top quality looks like it's growing out of your scalp you're going to want to invest in a quality unit to begin with this is more so of an experiment time to see if I can replicate this look so I'm going to be uh, kind of speeding through this part pretty quickly just because this is a method that I've tried that you all will see did not work exactly as I thought it would so I use about a cap full of this chocolate brown red dye and then I end up mixing it with just some shaving cream that I had to try to create this mixture uh, you know similar to what you would use you know when you use developer and hair dye on human hair thinking that I could like br brush this in I saturated the wig with a little bit of alcohol as well uh, beforehand but I was thinking that I could like brush this on and that it would actually end up uh, dyeing the hair similar to what would happen on human hair with actual hair dye. I take about a cap full of the royal purple red dye and I mix it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol as well as a couple of cups of water and then I take some of the excess hair that was cut off the part and test the mixture for accuracy So 
so I can tell almost immediately that the roots did not take. I ended up leaving the wig in this mixture for about 15 minutes before rinsing it out. I let it air dry overnight on a wig stand. Um, I wanted to compare the wig after it dried because it, to me it didn't look like it was much different than it started off with. But I took another of this type of wig and compared it to it and I can definitely see that the wig is more toned now. So I take my Evens lace tint and I put that on the perimeter of the wig as part of the roots. I just take my Sharpies or my permanent markers I got from Walmart. It comes in a pack of five, but I just use the brown and the black. And then I use that to complete making the roots on the wig. I decided to take one and dedicate it to trying to smooth and blend the roots on the wig. this point you see me repeat this process with the even lace tint and the permanent markers in different sections of the wig. video on how I added roots and toned the wig. Please consider liking this video if you enjoyed it and also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this in the future. Um, I do end up styling this wig and giving a review so definitely check out my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye!